coming. Ela phony sauce. Ela phony sauce. You said it correctly. Please, you go finally learn where we're going. So we're going on a motorbike trip with a KTM 390 Adventure and a Scrambler Ducati Desert Sled to Slovakians in Greece doing a camping in Ela Fonisos and Sparta. Woohoo! Watch us put the tent up. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow at 7 a.m. It's a five hour ride. Before you hit the Greek roads. Exactly. And um, can't wait actually. Okay. Can't wait to sit on a beach. Guys, we're taking you with us. GoPro for Lucia, GoPro for me, <laughs> and I'm gonna do a whole edit so you kind of get the feeling of this uh, incredible adventure in Greece. <laughs> So Lutska is sweating, she's complaining already about the heat. <laughs> I need a seat. Before we get there, let me tell you about my bags. <laughs> so this is the Lone Rider, a bag that turns into a backpack and Overlander. I think this is the name, Overlander. I have to double check, but I believe that's the name of it. And I remove the straps because I'm not going to use it as a backpack. Then we have the Lone Rider Moto Tent which is fantastic because it's not only a tent, but it's also a garage for your motorcycle. So you can actually park your bike and zip it so then nobody actually knows that you've been camping with a motorcycle because then you have your own moto tent garage for the bike. And that's the sleeping bag. And also this is my neck brace because besides that, we are also taking all our flat track gear because we will be doing, what, four days in El Afonisos yep. and uh, three days in Sparta for a flat track uh, camping event. <laughs> and also let me show you guys the new quad lock here that is mounted on both of our handlebars. Uh, I really, really like the new thing that you can move around. Also, we use the vibration dampener and you can unscrew this which means nobody else can unscrew it and steal it. How awesome is that? This is a new gadget from Quadlog, which I'm really glad to have. So let the adventure begin. <laughs> Finally, after an hour hustling and redoing our stuff, <laughs> we're good to go now. It was a bit top heavy. <laughs> but now it's better, all packed, weather is fantastic and let's hit the road. Kineta Beach for breakfast and it's so nice and quiet, nobody's here. <laughs> Alright guys, we had breakfast and coffee and now it's time to head towards Sparta and from Sparta we do another stop there and then we go two hours to Elafonisos from Sparta. Okay. So let's go! <laughs>
take the ferry, cross the sea and get to Elafonisos. Bikes have been behaving very well. I think the KTM 390 Duke is an ideal motorcycle for a first time adventure rider and it's actually a first time going for an adventure and camping and Lucia is riding for the first time in Greece. Lucia, what did you just do? <laughs> I had a tinkle in the <laughs> What do you think so far about riding in the Greek roads? Oh, uh, I really like it. It was nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's very hot mm -hmm. actually now. Very hot. <laughs> Not a bit warmer, it's very hot. And how about the KTM? What do you think about the bike? I like it. Mm -hmm. I wish it had a little slightly bigger engine. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's a really good little bike. Really good Exactly. Bike. It's like yeah. the perfect little adventure. For beginners, it's fantastic. For intermediate rider, I mean, it maybe feels a little under power, but uh, it's it's fantastic and it goes off road, it goes on the road. Let me tell you guys that I gave the KTM to Lucia because it's the first time she's riding in Greece and I didn't want her to go too fast. Unbelievable! Isn't so it? I put a limiter on her. <laughs> and if you guys don't know Lucia or if you haven't seen the video, you should definitely check it out. It was two Slovakian girls in Italy <laughs> doing the off-road school with Scrambler Ducati and we were riding that one and we, we crashed quite a few times. I think you, you didn't. crashed. I didn't. I, I crashed she like crashed. eight times. <laughs> she didn't. She's a good rider. <laughs> so let's hop on on the bikes and continue the journey. Yep. Still two hours left to get there. <laughs> A blonde, a blonde and a brunette does the first thing when they arrive to a Greek island. Um, get food! <laughs> <laughs> Time for food! We're so tired yeah, we are. and happy, so let's go and get some food. What is she doing there? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very rude cat, hello! Hi! You're beautiful. You're so pretty. Look at this little bee. What do you want? So this is what I call a proper lunch slash dinner with a view. Exactly. <laughs> First thing we do here in Elafonisos is to get proper food. Yeah, it nice. looks amazing. So we got the tzatziki, Greek salad, barbunaki, which is a really nice fish and the cat is eating my... Uh, <laughs> she's so playful! <laughs> so starters are here. Yeah. 
And yes, guys, we are cheating. We're gonna sleep, stay two nights in this hotel and then we're gonna do camping. So, no judging, huh? Sorry, the lady likes her luxury. <laughs> we like to mix up our holidays and have fun with both ways. Become dirty in the camping, but also be in the hotel and enjoy ourselves a little bit, right? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning. <laughs> so we just slept in our hotel room. It's called Capari Suite. Super, super nice. Super nice. And tomorrow we're gonna do camping, so we're nice and rested. <laughs> and now it's time to see the first beach of El Afonisos, which is called Simos Beach. here Simos Beach extremely quiet not many people are here well, let's go check out the beach <laughs> if this isn't paradise tell me where is paradise <laughs> this is the let's get naked yes but that's not going on camera guys <laughs> so guys this beach is called Simos and there's two different beaches it's like a, a butterfly maybe we can compare it one beach is over there and the other one's here today the wind is north so this is kind of south i think so now it's really nice here and not too windy all right everyone we had three fantastic days three or four four actually four amazing days here at the capari suites in el afonisos um the weather kind of changed our plans we meant to be doing flat track training in sparta yes and camping in sparta but it's been raining since yesterday so we stayed one more day here even was cancelled so we kind of changed the plan we're still going to sparta but we're going to spa instead <laughs> well, girls so, what you're expecting. <laughs> instead of camping we're actually going to a spa hotel packing quite a few times how does it feel now getting easier and lighter for and some reason lighter. I think <laughs> losing the stuff or I don't really know how to <laughs> um, now it's time to head back to Athens it actually stopped raining weather was insane at in the morning so we waited for the storms to calm down and yeah three hours drive and a boring motorway <laughs> Lucia is not excited I don't like motorways I will, I will just be chatting a lot so she doesn't get bored. Not sure that help. <laughs> okay, let's play some games. Next time you guys should write like comments, some suggestions, like what to do on a long, boring trip. What kind of games long can boring. we play? 